say it the new, the new. Manifestation, manifestation of the spirit, of the spirit. is me in that room the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstrott thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us in order to go where we need to go I must speak from a different place not a nice soliloquy not just another message from another preacher we've been there done that but I must speak in a way that you can hear and see who it is that's speaking to you I'm speaking to a select group say a select group, a select group. of people the Holy Ghost worshiper now let's say you fill the room with apples picture this you fill a room with apples and you go through and you select the ones you want you select the nicest and the best right yes. what would you call those apples a select group of apples yes. they're the chosen now an interesting thing with this message is you can be the one that chooses you can choose to go here you can choose to be a Holy Ghost worshiper others might not not chosen say I am the chosen I am the chosen the Holy Ghost worshiper are you ready for this the Holy Ghost worshiper doesn't look like this now Paul in Romans 10 were you there yep. Romans chapter 10 verse 6 we see Paul saying what it isn't and instructing people by what it isn't he says but the righteousness which is of faith speaks on this wise say not in thine heart he immediately goes into what it's not so that you will know say that I will know, I will know. what it's not because that's generally where most people are mm -hmm. it's not that very biblical way of preaching and teaching things go to Psalms chapter 1 helping you out here Psalms chapter 1 here we see David doing the same thing instructing people by what it's not Psalms chapter 1 verse 1 blessed is the man sounds good right mm -hmm. blessed is the man that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly nor stands in the way of sinners see he's saying what it's not it's not that say it's not that. it's not that if you get a clear understanding of what it's not you can have a clear understanding of what it is you can have a clear vision and view of what it is so I'm gonna say what a Holy Ghost worshiper or worshiping the Holy Ghost is not which might offend some people but that's okay maybe you need to be offended Holy Ghost worship does not look like this father in Jesus name I just come before you I just ask this I just ask that it's also not Jesus I worship you I worship you Jesus I worship you Jesus I worship you father it is not that Holy Ghost worshiper is not that I wish I didn't have to make it this plain but I'm instructing you in what it's not so that you can clearly see what it is is this fun yet that mm -hmm. I lose everybody <laughs> Holy Ghost worship is not doing all of those other things and add some Holy Ghost worship on the end of it and I've seen that over and over again some people who would receive part of this message say part, part. 
they're receiving part of the message and so they go well it might be okay it might be reasonable to somehow worship the Holy Ghost too so we just try to add say add add, add it to everything else we're doing Holy Ghost worship it's not that now you can do all of that but you have been doing all of that and it hasn't brought you here where we're going none of that will cause you to engage the reality of it being just you and the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today doing all that other stuff and then including the Holy Ghost at the end will not engage you into the reality of it being just you and the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today Holy Ghost worship and then Paul would go on and he'd explain what the righteousness of faith says David would go on to explain that the blessed man what the blessed man does are you here mm -hmm. Is this okay mm -hmm. just being scriptural yeah. so back off Holy Ghost worship doesn't look like that Holy Ghost worship looks like this I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost you are God in the earth today I Andrew James Hemstrott worship you I am your worshiper I worship you Holy Ghost Holy Ghost I worship you I worship you Holy Ghost that's what it looks like and doing it worshiping the Holy Ghost like I just did enough say enough, enough. until your reality changes until Jesus goes back to heaven and sit back down on the right hand of the Father in your mind your reality changes to where it's just you and the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today and you're walking with him are you here mm -hmm. that's what Holy Ghost worship is that's what a Holy Ghost worshiper does and if you're not here yet you haven't worshiped him enough until your reality changed this is better than I think you think it is most people aren't willing to change let alone change that much because it's a big change and if you're a preacher then you're already fully engaged in something else that isn't this I know I was one I know whereof I speak this is different say this is different, this is different. and my experience is this that if you've been doing something else a long time the longer that you've been doing something else especially if you're a preacher and you've been doing something else educated and schooled in something else not this then that longer it takes for you to be rewired and to be changed and to have your reality change mm -hmm. and people don't always want to hear it I've had people say to me I like him to a degree I like I like that he preaches on you know faith and I, I like that he preaches on you know being baptized in the Holy Ghost and speaking with other tongues yeah yeah I like that but then he gets up to this Holy Ghost worshiping part and that's where I shut him off because I I, I I don't want to go there you have to worship the Holy Ghost to go here to become a Holy Ghost worshiper and you have to do it long enough and enough to be transformed into something you weren't before this is not what you've been doing this is different it looks like this I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost you are the only part of the Godhead in the earth today and I worship you Holy Ghost Holy Ghost I worship you and as you do that listen as you do that a door begins to crack open unto you you keep doing it and you begin to walk through that door that is open to you and you are exposed to a huge 
vast room that you had no idea was even there before it wasn't on your radar everything is in here but everything is different being in this room you realize that you've become a Holy Ghost worshiper and change is required change is required it's not optional you change Romans chapter 12 and verse 1 I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of God what God in the earth is merciful to you the Holy Ghost the one you haven't been worshiping I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of God that you present your bodies your body what God are you gonna present your body to the Holy Ghost you are the temple of the Holy Ghost are you not what other God are you gonna present your body to there is no other God in the earth today his name is the Holy Ghost you present your body to him now is your tongue part of your body yes. it is one of the most powerful and valuable members of your body so you're gonna present your tongue to God who Holy, Holy Ghost and he says a living sacrifice I mean it's alive while you're alive you're doing this and you do it alone when no one else is around yeah you can worship the Holy Ghost uh, in a group but when nobody else is around you worship him say when nobody else is around nobody else I is worship around. him holy acceptable unto God which is your reasonable service the word reasonable is the Greek word logicus sound familiar we get our word logical from it's logical why would it be logical because he's God and you're presenting your body to him it's pretty logical mm -hmm. which is your reasonable or logical service and that word in almost in most translations is translated simply worship it's logical to worship him say it's logical, it's logical. to worship him. worship him in fact the amplified says it's a logical act of worship to say I worship you Holy Ghost you're presenting your tongue part of your body to the God that is in the earth by saying I worship you Holy Ghost it's reasonable mm -hmm. this message is reasonable thank you I've said this I don't know how many times now if you knew him as God wouldn't it be reasonable to worship him and if you worshiped him you'd know him as God works both ways why do you put so much emphasis on this act remember the Amplified says the act of worship why do I put so much emphasis on it because you can't get in this room that I am in now and telling you about without it you're not allowed in you don't get here without it Romans chapter 12 verse 2 and be not conformed to this world so there's a benefit to it something begins to happen when you enter in to this room by worshiping the Holy Ghost using your mouth be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind your reality changes and then you prove what is the good acceptable and perfect will of God are you gonna get there if you don't do the act of worship no you'll stay where you're at well you can't get in here in this vast room that opens up to you without worshiping the Holy Ghost using those words I worship you Holy Ghost but I'll give you some slack because it does take some time to get in here especially if you've been doing something else for all of this all of these years right I didn't get here overnight you probably won't either 
but you must put in the effort you must put in the effort can you see that from Romans chapter 12 verse 1 and 2 you have to put in the effort you present your body you reasonably worship him you have your mind renewed and you are transformed and you prove the good and perfect will of God good acceptable and perfect will of God you have to put in the effort I find it amusing that everybody thinks that they can do what I do and you think you know what you're talking about but you don't worship the Holy Ghost and you haven't paid the price of worshiping him to enter into this room I can hear it I can hear that it's not the same everybody who's in this room can hear that it's not the same people in this room know it you're just adding a new spice or a new flavor onto everything else that you've been preaching for the last 50 years and it doesn't work I worship you Holy Ghost changes everything everything 180 degrees different in here night and day different it's not the same have I said this before I keep saying it over and over this is not the same I know I was doing what you were doing before this is different it's 180 degrees different I promise you second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 now the Lord is now where where's now right now, right, right now in the earth mm -hmm. say right now in the earth right now, now the Lord is in this dispensation in our time right now in the earth that spirit what spirit that spirit the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. and where the Spirit of the Lord is or where the Spirit Lord literally where the Spirit Lord is there is liberty there is freedom there is freedom and liberty and the latitude that you can have that you can't have if now the Lord isn't that spirit this is the real listen this in this verse is the reality that you enter into by I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost Ooh, now I'm in the room I'm in this verse of Scripture are you here verse 18 but we all with open face beholding as in a what most translations say a mirror that's what it means have you ever looked into a mirror what does it look like on the inside of a mirror everything is 180 degrees opposite of what it is out here in the room you are looking at the Holy Ghost in a mirror and everything is different that's where you are you enter into this reality where everything is 180 degrees opposite I am mirror when I look in a mirror I'm mirror flipped I'm different we all with open face beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord are changed into what the same image the same glorious image it's a glorious image glorious. which is a glorious liberty it's a glorious liberty that we are changed into from glory to glory even as by the Spirit Lord say the Spirit Lord, Spirit Lord. Changes, me. changes me everything is different in this room In that room of glorious liberty I'm looking in there in that room of glorious liberty that I can now see in because I worship him the Spirit Lord is everything I see everything in there remember romper room I see Gary I see Jane I see Olivia you know I see she'd often say I see Andrew and I'm like oh my goodness how does she do that 
You don't remember around the room. Do you do though, right? You know what I'm talking about. In that new manifestation of the Spirit. Say new manifestation, new manifestation. Of, the Spirit. of the Spirit. Frankly, of the Spirit, Lord, is a room. In that room is everything. What if you don't see it in there? You can't have it and you won't be changed into it. See where we're going. We're going in this room. It's a vast room. Everything is in there. I see everything in there. Mm -hmm. I see it clearly. Say, I see it, I see it. Clearly. clearly. I am in that new manifestation of the Spirit. The new manifestation of the Spirit is me in that room. Say it, the new, the new manifestation, manifestation of, the spirit, of the spirit is me, me. In, that room. in that room. I'm not going back. What is there to go back to? Why would I go back? There's nothing back there. There's no revival of the past that will take you to the future. This is our future in this room. Are you here? And I saw the holy sons of God, and they were stepping on flames of fire. Their garments were white, and their faces shone like snow. You ready for this? Mm -hmm. Romans chapter 8, verse 19. For the earnest expectation of the creature waits for the manifestation of the sons of God. The earnest expectation of the creature, meaning creation itself, all of creation, mm -hmm. waits for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. The manifestation of the sons of God. What's the earth waiting for? The manifestation of the sons of God. Is it? Do you have the same Bible I have? Now, a few weeks ago, I don't know if it was, I don't think it was last week, a few weeks ago, I said there shall be giants in the land. And one of my longtime partners, he wrote and said, aren't the giants evil? Weren't the giants evil in the book of Genesis? And I said, yes. Genesis chapter 6 and verse 4, there were giants in the earth in those days. Is that in your Bible? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And also after that, when the sons of God, called the sons of God, sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, and the same became mighty men, which were of old men of renown. Pre the flood, but they're gone now, because the flood wiped them out. But as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the days of the Son of Man. There shall be giants in the land men of renown romans chapter 8 verse 19 the earnest expectation of creation waits for waits for it the manifestation of the sons of god we be those giants that the creation is waiting for why is it waiting verse 21 because the creation itself shall also be delivered into the glorious liberty of the children of God what's creation waiting for manifestation of the sons of God that it can be delivered into the glorious liberty of the children of God well they're going to have to be walking in this glorious liberty for creation to be able to come into it mm -hmm. are you here you go first Creation follows. Say, I go first. I go first. Creation follows. Creation follows. Well, this glorious liberty can't be unto creation until you be in the glorious liberty. Our personal relationship with the Holy Ghost is integral. It becomes more important the more of these things you see. Romans chapter 8 verse 16 says the spirit himself should be itself shame on them the spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God how do you know you are a child of God it's the spirit himself bearing witness he tells you 
yes I know that when I die I will go to heaven it goes a lot deeper than that which we just read the Spirit himself reveals to you that you are a son of God the Son of God listen the Son of God the child of God that creation is waiting for you gonna ever get to that revelation without the Spirit of God telling you and revealing it to you not gonna happen our personal relationship with the Holy Ghost God in the earth today is integral to these things Romans chapter 8 verse 11 but the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead if he dwell in you he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwells in you what is your mortal body it's your physical body he's gonna quicken your physical body he quickens he makes it alive he quickens it with eternal light and eternal life me first I'm quickened to glorious Liberty in my physical body and creation follows are you here yeah. can creation but creation is waiting it can't follow until I'm quickened but the church hasn't gone here because it hasn't worshiped the Holy Ghost but we are and we're going here remember I started this out by saying I had to say things that you could hear and see who it is that's speaking these things to you this is where we're going glorious Liberty and creation following the earth has been lost without you because the sons of God have not taken their place the green environmental religion would like to have you believe that you are not welcome here on this earth and your footprint even to your breath somehow destroys the planet that's what they believe it's their religion couldn't be any further from the truth you are the most important part of creation your very breath is the solution creation waits for you first corinthians 12 7 says that you are given the manifestation of the spirit for good and profit it's part of this new manifestation we've been given the earth's been waiting for you but it all begins with you entering that room of holy ghost worship worshiping him using the words I worship you Holy Ghost and a glorious Liberty comes upon you and a great latitude is unveiled before you latitude are lines that go all the way around the earth the latitude given to you will cover the earth but it all begins with you entering that room and with right words in your mouth in this room you will find the latitude you need to accomplish all things encompassing the whole of the earth I am a Holy Ghost worshiper creation has been waiting for me say I am, I am. a Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Worshiper. worshiper creation, creation. Has, been has been waiting for me, for me. Holy Ghost I thank you that this blessing is now on the people who have heard this word they shall never go back they shall never be the same for they've entered into a new place a new room a new glory that has new latitude for them that they can walk in and grow and be everything that you've called them to be we worship you Holy Ghost we thank you for it in Jesus name if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost you are God in the earth today I worship you I thank you that you have allowed me to enter into this glorious room where there's glorious provision on every side I thank you for it in Jesus name the Amen. Is in heaven. Jesus at his right hand. Holy Ghost.
your garden.